Hey guys, welcome back to the Hunting of the Wanderers in Import Tune the Challenge. Uh, we've got quite a bit left to go. We're on the last 5% of the game. But of course, that means racing 2 plus 6 plus 10 races. Which, uh, simple math will tell me, is 18. So 18 races is 5%, which is okay. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's see who can race today. Actually, let's go back to Stalking Camera and start from him. Okay, so jump start Mackie. Uh, must have no NOS equipped. Yeah, we can do it at some point, not now. Shinji the Harbinger. Race you off defeating Bright Age. Bright Age must be in Shibuya Line area for five days in a row. That's an annoying one. That's a really annoying one. Uh, Free Mabeshi must have the Bone Sticker equipped. Uh, I can do that actually. Let's put a bone sticker on our car. And then off this, uh, was it was that Shinjuku? I don't even remember. We'll, we'll check in a minute. But you must have the bone sticker on your car. Uh, I put on the bonnet. <laughs> nice, uh, nice invisible. Where's the bone? There we go. Bone, scale, up, 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 up. There we go. Nice big the bone sticker. Uh, let's put it there like that. Yeah! <laughs> it's only temporary, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep it. Obviously, just, it's, you gotta do a lot of this shit just to, um, satisfy one. I mean, I did this when I first got the Supra. I, you know, I had to have mismatched wheels, put neons on it, all that jazz. Uh, yeah, Shinjuku line, alright. The, yeah, poor Supra. I mean, that's, that's all these weird things attached to it just so you can satisfy Wanderers. I mean, are there even Wanderers in, you know, the real, you know, Wangan races? You know, that people are like, oh, I'm not racing you, you don't have a sticker. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh my god, is he? He's driving an S15 as well. All this effort to drive to race a guy who. I'm just going to destroy. Friggin' free Mabeshi. Alright. So look at this friggin' sticker. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. Oh, oh. A bit wide. Let's go, go, go. It's an SP battle. We can, uh, we can do this pretty quickly. Should we use spray? Should we? I'm um, not sure if we should. It's kind of, you know, we don't have to waste it really. Well, it's not really a waste. I mean, I can just, I'm just going to go back to the garage anyway, but. No, we don't. You know, we don't have to, have to go for that much effort. We can just win <laughs> easily. Look at this. Fuck it, I'm just going to use nitrous. I want to do 260 again. Three, four, five. Ah, oh, 255. Almost 260. Next. What? Oh, yeah. He has a friend, doesn't he? I've got his name, though. Uh, something Hiranzi. Hir Hiranzi? Was that his name? Hiranzi? Bit of a weird name. Oh, okay. Punchline Hiranishi. Okay. It was 180. Purple 180, like ours, but uh, ours is a darker purple and looks a lot better. This is good then, two, uh, two wanderers in a row. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Oh, except for that. It's hard to believe that, you know, we're on episode 48 now, and, uh, you know, the series is coming to an end pretty soon. I mean, I'm we probably got, like, maybe five more episodes out of it. I don't know. I shouldn't be guessing episodes at this point. I mean, originally I was like, oh, it's like 60 episodes, but no, it's like, it's, it ended up being like 50 something, I think. Yeah, it's done. 
pretty uh, dramaless race there. Super Speed Deity. Oh, that's because I've got a sticker on it, right? Like, when you put two team stickers on, they clash and you don't get a cool name. Which is unfortunate. So we'll remove that right now. Uh, exterior, yep. Where's Hood? I went completely past it, I didn't even realise. There you go. Nice and clean. But yeah, I mean, I used to go for, oh, it's really like 60 episodes, won't be too bad. But now I end up being a lot shorter. Uh, probably because we're actually getting a fuse a lot quicker than I thought. Which is nice, I guess. Okay. Continuing on. Still on 95%. Uh, Alright, we've run out of people to really, you know, race uh, casually so we can start building cars, I guess. So, Silent Barbarian. We need to buy a sedan. Uh, obviously, it has to be a proper sedan. Can't buy an Evo and Impreza. Has to be a proper sedan. So, we're going to get a Toyota Crown. Yeah, it's, it's my favourite, you know, sedan in the game. It's going to be very flashy red. Um, what? What area should we go for? Um. Kawasaki? Ooh, um. Let's continue naming cars after their episode number. That's 48. And we shall call this. You know what? Benson's quite the fan of the Toyota Crowns. He's, um. I believe his dad had one. Uh, one of the really, you know, the much older version. And, you know, he's, he's quite the Crown fan. So let's name let's name the car after him. Let's call it Ben Benson Um Benson Hart? No, let's not let's not Hart Benson. Let's not let's not give him that idea. Um Ben Bensonate. Yes, he can yeah, there we go, Bensonate. <laughs> Cause uh, you know, he he used to call himself the Bensonator. Is, is his online name, the Bensonator? So yeah, so yeah, we'll call the car the Bensonate. <laughs> what have I done? All right. Uh, you know we don't have to do much of this car actually. Obviously, uh, Mr. Barbarian is quite the early wanderer, so he's not going to be that powerful. Uh, so we'll just. I mean, the car's cheaper tune anyway. You know, I'll keep it, you know. I won't spend too much on it. Just enough to uh, make sure we do win. Oh, oh, exhaust choice, pretty good. You've got these huge sort of cannons. Then this sort of these upswept, like jewel and quad. Let's go for the quad upswept. There you go, nitrous. Any nitrous. Uh, don't need any of that. Aero, which is what we would like to see. Actually, we'll show you the wide bodies first. So we have this sort of... Uh, no, is it DTM or Super GT? It looks kind of DTM-ish to me. And then this sort of more... You know, sort of more street-looking wide body. But uh, I prefer doing normal bumpers for this car because you get the Junction Prodigy lip. Which is yeah, it's quite cool. You got the TRD front bumper, which looks awesome, and the Ings front lip, which sort of looks like the Junction one, but a, you know just a tad different. And then we get this small sort of it looks like the wide body actually, the uh, second one. Um, come back to that. What spoiler? Ah, Junction Produce spoiler is that one. Got some GT wings and this more sort of. It looks like OEM. Spoiler. Okay, let's make a full Junction Produce car. Get the Junction front lip. And the... The side skirts are all pretty similar, but... We're going for the Junction 1. Rear bumpers. There's Junction Ings, which looks kind of weird. Uh, that's supposed to be the TRD 1, I think. But it's not, for some reason. And that's that weird... 
uh, sort of typical VIP one, so we get more junction. You know, junction produce car, I think. All the hoods, bonnets, whatever you want to call them, are no name, so we'll, we'll use we'll get this. It's pretty good. Uh, mirrors. Bit of a Mercedes style side repeater in mirror. Then we have a uh, small mirror, look a bit weird. And uh, GT mirrors, so we get these. Because they look awesome. Headlights, okay, so we have these, which look weird. Uh, sort of really subtle eyelids, which look pretty cool. And these, which look a bit weird, so we get these. Uh, tail lights, okay, so we have Lexus lights, despite this being actually being a Toyota. And it would be Altezza's. Uh, Altezza lights from the Toyota Altezza. These sort of more. I don't. There's no real difference between these two, apart from one looks a bit weird. And then the which are awesome. The full, full-on LED tails, which uh, which I like. Over fenders. You have your, you know, sort of subtle rim, rim, rims of the wheel arch there. This is more sort of muscular looking, and this is like full-on, just tacking on bits of plastic. Uh, I'll, I'll get the. I'll get this one. Exterior. Don't we? Oh, junction produce wheels, aren't we? There we go. Junction produce. Plus two inches. Very nice. Um, non plate. You shouldn't be moving that around because <laughs> you leave this weird ass, you know, plate holder in the middle. Uh, body colour I am more than happy with, just increase saturation a bit. It's really metallic, it's all good. Um, sticker. Because I know that the team for this car is SS Limited, I believe. Let's see if my knowledge betrays me. I'll scale it down a bit. Put it up here. Like that. Polaris, there we go. My knowledge has not betrayed me. We are now Polaris. Very nice. And I think we'll just use the same seats. We use every car. Um, we'll just keep stock soon, we'll. Changing colour of the course is ugly as always. And cockpit view. We'll get this charm, the VIP charm. In my finally we can use this charm. And the interior of this car is going to be white. Well, the dials are white, so we'll use some of these. Also, this car has no turbo, so there's no point putting a turbo gauge on it. Although, you know, you, you can put the boost pressure gauge on, and it will show you, like, the vacuum of the boost, but not the, you know, it won't go past one. I mean, zero. It won't go past zero. Ooh, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's speed modding. And what I'll do is what I keep forgetting to do is actually change the settings. One ABS, no traction control, my brake balance preference there. Okay, all good. Let's head off to Kobashi PA at, I think it was midnight. Was it midnight? Let's, actually, I'll just check my cheat sheet. Yeah, it's midnight. Satsumi PA, no, Kayabashi PA. Yeah. Alright, we're all good. All good. See, I've got an own little Toyota Crown now, that's pretty cool. The Bentonate. Bentonate, Bentonate. Bit of a Dalek voice there. Uh, come on. Let's stop talking so much, people. Alright. Back to the... There we go. He has an Aristo. This can be a, a Toyota on Toyota fight. You want to race me, right? Since you drive a sedan, I think we might understand one another. I should have just bought this car from the start, really. Would have saved me so much effort. No, oh, well. We shall, uh. We shall just own him. Own his face. Uh, 
Alright. Oh my god, it looks so much cooler than his. Look, 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 look at his cocky metal mind. Mine's just like, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> He's actually doing better than me. So much light's got light. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys have noticed during Let's Play, but um, as you change headlights on cars, they, you know, some headlights are more yellowy, like the, the Aristo, and some are more sort of xenon-y, like the bluish tint, like this. Didn't get the Supra, that's just white. But yeah, the, the different headlights for each car, they will actually sometimes change the colour of the bulb, which is pretty cool. I know the Aristo has a um, a Xenon upgrade. I think this has a white bulb for the stock headlights. But because it's got eyelids, oh, it's been changed to a Xenon. That's pretty cool. A bit of a uh, trivia for you guys. Who didn't already know? I mean, you know, it's a pretty obvious thing. It changes the colour of your headlights, but... You know, the more you know. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the, the, <laughs> the crowd makes sort of high-pitched whine at high RPMs. It's not a supercharger, it's actually the car. Maybe, maybe it's bentonating. I am bentonating. Whee! That's, that's the um, that's the crown's voice now. Bentonate, bentonate. I am crown, bentonate. Bentonate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> on two wheels, and the RPMs go mad, and it starts just shrieking. <laughs> oh god, didn't expect that. And I sort of uh, may have thrown my own spit doing that. Yeah. Okay. In you, I have found the true sedan driver. And the new, I have found. Well, I'm not even going to mention it. All right, see who's outside. Even I'm not really in the sort of car to race with. Well, uh, luckily there's no one to race anyway. But yeah, that was the uh, that was the Bentonate crown. To Bentonate you. Let's go back and uh, see where we've got a race. I'll try and do more than now, actually. Uh, just to sort of give a bit of a uh, structure to the whole thing. So, Rolling Master. He's on a C1 midnight. Requires Rolling Guy's car. Which means must go to this custom car dealership and find Rolling Guy's car. And it has to be rolling guys, car, it can't be rolling gal. Unfortunately, but yeah. I don't get to drive his uh, A86. So those of you who have actually like, been craving A86 action, here you go. Um, we'll actually give it the uh, 86 plate. Because that's what it is, it's an 86. And uh, you know, it's, it's quite a rarity to find one in this game. You know, there's only like three teams that use it, there's only a couple of custom cars, it's it's worth celebrating getting one for yourself. Uh what's the plate it as? I'll just you know what? Let's be really unoriginal. Let's be ridiculously unoriginal. Initial D. You know you actually fit a D, but you know. Obviously, custom car, you can't change anything about it, apart from the plate. Again, of the C1. Let's find Rolling Master. This guy. This guy's apparently the old leader of the Rolling Guy. Until he sort of passed leadership down to, you know, Rolling Guy, guy who owns this car. Here's this car. Let's give you a little bit of a lock of it. Look at that, look at that front camber. <laughs> I think he's um, a bit of excessive camber there. Let's just 
horse racing. So I showed you the uh, weird camber, but he also has this white panel on the driver's side. That's UK driver's side, and uh, it's apparently been, uh, drifting and he damaged it. Now his car is faster than this one, so I've got to sort of play catch with it. But I have uh, I've found him at sort of a good location. A lot of high speed turns where the AI would rather break. Oh. No, the top speed isn't very high, but the handling is superb. Look at that drift, 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 drift. Look at that drift. Oh, look at that. And here's the interior view for those who are wondering. Very much like an A86. I mean, I, don't, I still don't get why they've not modelled the car for player use. I mean, obviously got the full interior here. Gauge locations and everything's all settled. No, we can't. still can't use the car ourselves. And this is a really weird view. Holy shit, it's still so low to the ground. Let's go back to this view. Really nicely drifts as well. Yeah, I think we've won this. Rolling Master has been uh, schooled by the new leader of the Rolling Guy, which is me. I am now the new leader of the Rolling Guy. You may call me uh, Rolling Rolling Rog. That's what I'll, that's what I call myself, Rolling Rog. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna call this one here. We've uh, taken a little bit more time than usual, but. I feel it was worth it just to mess with the rolling guy car. It is, it is a rather cool looking car. Weird, uh, weird emoticons on the side of it as well. But yeah, that's all from me today. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, sort of the final stages of the Let's Play. We've got just 4% of the game left. We're sort of doing like a percent an episode, which is which is good. Also means we may actually be ending this like episode fifty two, maybe. But uh <laughs> I don't even want to end it, but I do. Because we're playing uh Need for Speed Underground 2 after this and I'm I'm excited to play that. But we're gonna I'm going I wanna finish this first. I wanna you know, get this done before starting NFSU, so. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep going until the end, until we have that very uh, wonderful 100%. So yeah, I'll see you guys all next time.